What is up everybody? Smooth is back again with another video. Today we're gonna be doing more Hidden Fates. And I got about three Hidden Fate boxes and a Dark Ride Shiny Legends. Let's just get right into it real quick. Try to make this a shorter video. I personally like opening the boxes on the video in front of you guys. I don't want you guys, you know, I want to give a honest representation. You know, whatever I, whatever I put in the moment, I want you guys to see. That's why I pretty much do it live. In case you guys haven't seen it, because I know getting fake to the hot product and these things fly off the shelves. Get right into it. First, the first Gyarados box. You know what we're looking for. The shiny Charizard. One in every 600 packs. It's pretty insane. There we go. Giovanni's Exile. Loot. Lieutenant Surge. Paras. Ekans, Psyduck, Staryu, Clefairy, Brock's Grit, and a reverse hollow form. And a nice little hollow Misty's Water Command. Okay, two trainers. Right off the bat. I'm sorry, I fixed the camera a little bit. Alright, here we Speed through these guys. Alright, Mystic Termination, Metapod, Paris, Psyduck, Charmander. I'm a Charmander fan. Another Brock's Grit. What? Two packs back to back? It's deja vu. Energy, Misty. Ooh, there he is, Scyther. Jinx, Pikachu. Charmander again. Voltorb, Coughing. Ekans. Oh, how does that work? All right, let's just. Stakataka. Stakataka. GX. All right. and a non hollow Snorlax. All right, put that right there. Energy, Misty's Gym, Brock's Gym, Metapod, Clefairy, Coffin, Voltor, Cubone, uh, Geodude. Oh, nice. Got a full uh, hollow energy. A nice looking Butterfree. All right, that was the first pack. Uh, not too bad. Let's hit the other one real quick. As always, on camera. Hey guys, so I just found these at my Walmart. So I would advise you to go check, you know. Could possibly still have some around. Let's 
get right into it. Energy, Jinx, Graveler, Farfetch'd, Farfetched, Pikachu, Fairy, another Cubone, uh, Jigglypuff, Eevee. Oh, we got a hit. Brock's Grit. Another Brock's Grit. Okay. Um, we got a hit here. Uh, okay. Not too bad. So that's kind of cool. Correlates. Brock's Grit, and you get Onyx. It's one of the Brock's Pokemon. If you guys remember, for you uh, older folks, Ash battled him, kind of like, I guess the sprinkler system started raining on <laughs> Onyx, and then Pikachu was able to take advantage of it. Because if not, Pikachu was not going to win that battle. It's kind of cool. How they kind of made it realistic, you know? How, yeah, if he's wet, his uh, electricity was going to do some good damage on Onyx. Which I like that. That was pretty cool. Chansey. Brock's Gym. Giovanni's Exile. Pikachu. Voltorb. Coffin. Cubone. Geodude. Sabrina's suggestion. Oh, nice. A hollow Zapdos. Zapdos is one of my favorites of the uh, original legendary. Just looked like a warrior, you know. I like I like Zapdos, then I like Articuno. And then Moltres was like my least favorite just because he looks like like a chicken on fire. Like he doesn't even look mean at all, in my opinion. Cart, Pikachu, Coffin, Cubone, Clefairy. Oh, we got a trainer hit. Oh, Rainbow, Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno. We were just talking about these guys, and we hit them. Like, see, like Zapdos and Articuno look much more mean than. Motres, I don't know. I just feel like Motres is like a chicken that got on fire, you know, lost his hair, and it's red now. That's how I feel. I don't want to offend anybody who likes Motres, but I like him, but he's my least favorite. I definitely like Zapdos and Articuno much, much better. All right, not bad. We got a nice hit. Especially in rainbow. That, I like those rainbow arts. Just because we got a hit. Had to throw that out there. Hook you guys up. Metapod. Jinx. Magmar. Staryu. Clefairy. Slowpoke. Pikachu. Charmander. Another reverse holo fairy. So that means we got another hit. No, we don't. Bill. Bill's analysis. Blah. All right. That was all for that. Next pack. Gyarados. Gyarados is another super cool Pokemon. Like you get from him, you get this beast. Like that's pretty awesome. Alright, 
There we go. I really hope I hit this Charizard. I don't even, I don't even want it as Teresa. I just, personal collection, honestly. It'd be so sick. Especially with the odds. I think I was reading a... Uh, one guy opened up 600 packs because it's one in every 600. He opened up 600 packs and he didn't get not one shiny Charizard. So kind of played the odds on it and he did not su succeed. So just to tell you how rare it is. Non Hollow Mew. I kind of don't want to buy it resale. 600 dollars it's kind of steep right now but who knows i might have to pull the trigger might have to pull the trigger so right now i'm not hitting anything it's always more fun to pull it yourself though so oh nice first hollow charmander i'd rather pull it myself I guess consolation prize. I wish it was just hollow, not reverse hollow. I would enjoy it better. Charmeleon. Rock spread. Far fetched. Cubone, Tio Dude, Jigglypuff. Ooh, nice. Got a green and a nothing golem. I like these shiny hollowed uh, energies. All right, last pack from the Hidden Fates Saga. Let's just say that. Let's just say that. Charmeleon, Graveler, Farfetch'd, Ekans, Charmander, Psyduck. Okay, got a Reverse Hollow. And, okay, I got a Hollow, Jesse and James. Alright, not too bad, I guess. Still a little bonus opening. Oh, shiny Dark Ride GX. Blue energy, float seal, larva stir scraggy, crocodile. Ooh, there we go. We're getting 
Uh, we're getting hot with these uh, hollow energies. Ooh, nice. Keldell. Hollow. Alright, not too bad. I'll definitely take those. I'm also show you guys a couple pickups I got for uh, Shiny Legends right after this. That's a nice looking Pikachu. Ooh, Totodile. Bulbasaur. Ooh, nice. Reverse Hollow Venusaur looks pretty cool. And a uh, Reshiram. Alright, okay, not bad, not bad, not bad, so I just recently invested in a, right here, a little shiny Volcanian, Volcanian PSA 9, it's a little investment, so, something you guys can uh, take a look at, maybe invest a little bit, Pokemon cards are rising in popularity. Ivysaur. Ultra Ball. Oh, for Alligator. Wow, this artwork is really cool. Ivysaur. So that Zero Lidding. Quellfish. Okay, pretty cool. There we go. Ooh, look at that. A Manaphy. Hollow. Nice. This centering looks pretty good, too. I might send this guy in for grading. Do a little better inspection after. Let me sleeve it up. Just because it looks pretty cool. Alright, last pack. There we go. I also pulled this a while back. A little shining Genesic. There you guys go. Better view of that. Lily, Pokemon Breeder, Ultra Ball, Litten, Larvista, Purloin, St Stunfisk, Switcher, and another Reshiram. All right, guys, that's all I got right now as far as pack openings for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. There's one for the crew. I don't know if you guys saw it. Bam. Um, yeah, leave a comment down below. And I've been I'm, um, I'm looking to do more openings for sure. Uh, here's something for you guys. Ooh, that's a good one right there. That was a good one. If you're fast enough, you definitely caught it. But yeah, guys, so definitely look into investing in some of these graded cards. Um, you know, Pokemon is becoming very, very, very popular and it's on the uprise and it just keeps the hobby going. You know, I don't want to say I buy them just to sell them all. Like I obviously like to invest and use that to reinvest into the hobby, which is, I think a good way to not stay broke because this hobby can get expensive. So if I sell all these cards, let's just say make enough money, I can eventually probably afford that shiny black Charizard, you know? So, something to think about, guys. Just, you know, in my opinion. Uh, anyways, 
Until the next one, see you guys later.